Hi, welcome back to my floss tube. I am Steph from Stitchy Steph and this is my floss tube number 10. Now, I'm going to start today by saying I'm sorry it's late. It is, time is it? 10 past 6 on Monday night. And it's half term, so I haven't had time to do a floss tube any earlier than this. So I'm sat with my cup of tea ready to talk. Now, I would say get alcohol, but because I don't drink alcohol, I only drink tea. I've got my big cup of tea. So, this week, I have three FFOs, three whips, and a bit of a haul. So, I'll start with my FFOs. Now, my first FFO, I don't know if you remember, a while ago, I made the autumn uh, I think it was by, no it definitely was by The Tiny Modernist and it was a free one off their website so I made it into a crate, stuck my pumpkin and I couldn't remember which my poll said was it the pumpkin or the skulls so I've gone with them both and I absolutely love it and that stands on my worktop with my pumpkin throff, throffer and like all my tea stuff, so it's like my little tea caddy really and it's perfect the pound shop pound shop's brilliant for stuff like that now my other FFO I'm feeling quite proud of myself about this because I've, I've had these for ages and I've just never bothered finishing them so now I've finally finished them because it's coming up to Halloween a little pillow and it's even got lavender in it and it smells beautiful and now most people probably think it's not the best but I'm super proud of myself because I hate, hate sewing machine, working with my sewing machine. So I did this and it's got, like I said, it's got lavender in it. Oh, I missed a bit. Oh. And I cheated by hot glue in this but nobody needs to know that one. Uh, also I, I backed it. And I found my little pom-pom trim. The only thing I wish I'd have done differently with this is a little bit of string round so I could have hung it. Because right now it, it is just sat and my kids are just throwing it around. So, But I am proud of that one. My third FFO. I hope it's right where. <laughs> is that one. It's the... I've got it all written in my book. My little book. It's the Happy, is it Happy Hauntings? I think, from the Cross Stitch magazine by Maria Diaz, that's it. So there's that one. Oh, I forgot my other sign that I've made. and it, It's not cross stitching, but I made a Halloween sign and it's out the front because obviously I didn't want to put my cross stitching out the front, just with the weather. So I've decided I'd make a big sign and I've got to bring it in. Oh, I'm going to have to get it and show you. I'm really proud of this. Now, I want to say I made a big boo-boo and I'm so glad people have pulled me up on it because I feel like a great loser. But anyway, I thought they, I don't know if you can see it, I got a few of these with my Disney cross stitching and I thought they were thread cutters to thread your needle so thank you for everybody who told me about these definitely i haven't used them yet so when i use them i'll let you know how it got on now i'll go with my whips who does love a good whip now my first whip again my jeff josephine bag my first whip is the noel from the cross stitcher magazine and I haven't added the beads yet. That'll be the last thing after I've pressed it. Because obviously I don't want to melt my beads. Um, changed all of my threads. As I always say, I change them to the ones that I like. Cup of tea time. Change them to the ones that I like. And the, what suits my decor better. Now, I'll press it. And this one's in next month's magazine so I'm waiting for that to come out 
I'll press it, I'm going to fold it like I did with the Sal in the summer that the Cross Stitch magazine did and hang it in my kitchen in replacement of my the summer cell that the cross stitch magazine did because it's just i've got a nail there so it's easy to hang up and you know trade change it now the other one i've been working on and i've after i got work started on it and i got into it i found it not that difficult which was the uh, aldi is it a 3D cross stitch heart? I've been calling it a door hanger because it's hung on a door. So it's a 3D cross stitch heart. Um, and I've got quite far with this one actually. So I'm quite proud of that. I think I'm going to not back it though with the pattern that's on the back. I have some fabric upstairs that I'm going to use that I think will be better and less time consuming than doing them that one so yeah i'm well happy with that and i know you can see the hoop mark but i will be cutting it out into a, a love heart obviously and i will be i've got a new obsession for some reason with putting lavender in everything so that'll have lavender in too so there's one of my other ones i'm nearly close to finishing that actually but really when i think about it because it's not halloween it's probably the wrong time to do something like that. I should maybe be cross, like cross stitching and concentrating on Halloween and Christmas. Oh. I love, love, I love a good cup of tea. So my third one that I've been working on is my Enchanted Pumpkin House by Boothy Threads. Now I love this one. I am loving working on it. But I sort of work on it and then realise, oh, there's too much black to do. Because um, I'm to this part here. There's too much black and then I put it away and I'm like, oh, I really miss doing that one. So I end up getting it back out. So anyway, I've got a bit further than the last time I showed you. I've started, as you can see, these bits here. But now let me know in the comments... Do you think I should put this away now till next year? Because realistically, there's no way I'm going to finish this before Halloween, as Halloween is only on Saturday. So it's like five days away. So realistically, am I better putting this away till next year or just carry on doing it? Let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of curious to what I should do. I could carry on working on it, but I've got other things to work on as you'll soon see so my haul first of all the three the four the five and the six they came and it has the patterns are just absolutely gorgeous I mean let's see if I can find just one bite. How cute. I love it. And uh, where's the other stuff? Other one I really like. I mean, you all know now that I love a cup of tea. I'm loving it. But I'm having to put them away till after Christmas because there's some bits that I want to do for Christmas and there is some bits that I want to do as presents. So the ones that I want to do as presents... I can't really show you until after Christmas because the for family and friends. So it'll be after Christmas, I'm afraid. But I'll show you still. Right, my haul, my other part, my haul. Now, who doesn't love a good charity shop? I love going in charity shops. But I'm trying not to go out as much with obviously COVID and everything else. But next door to one of my shops, well, one of the shops the food shops there's a charity shop and my mum and my brother both went in for me and they found this one is let me turn it around so i can see victorian cross stitch by jane greenoff and some of them i mean look at that that one there there's that one i love that i just think some of the stuff in there so anyway 
these are from the charity shop and the other one is picture it in cross stitch by joe verso now who doesn't love a good joe, joe verso book i mean look at that one the garden see these are all on my list and my list needs to be shrinking and it's just getting bigger the more i go through these books the more i'm finding to do and it's it's hard so that's my haul i got my magazines and my two books now my final my final one is what i'm going to be working on over christmas so i found these in my stash so my first one is going to be see this is why i'm so unorganized i should have had them already is that one i think it's lovely or that one i'm not too sure yet is it that one yeah one of them too but i think it's going to be that one because that one's just i just think that one's so classic and i love it my other one did i fold one in here well anything out that one because i just love everything in there i can't decide and my point the crock crock crocks i'm probably saying it wrong i'm so sorry but yeah and this is from france in 2010 so it's 10 year old i've had this for 10 years now let me find a picture before i get hold off him how cute is he and i actually want to do that like with the hangy i think he's just beautiful i just love him and I want to find a nutcracker cross stitch. I absolutely love nutcrackers. I just think that they're gorgeous. So I'm, I'm on a hunt for my nutcracker. So if anyone knows of any decent nutcracker patterns, let me know in the comments below. Because, like I say, I am dying to see them. And at the end, I'm, I'm going to try and get somehow a photo of my boo sign that i've made up here wish me luck if it doesn't happen it'll just be on a still at the end so <laughs> i'm not very good with stuff like this I, I really do apologize so yeah i'm gonna go have a cup of tea and i'm just gonna chill out and obviously do some more sewing i love days like this where you're just chilling out and sewing and drinking tea watching movies we are absolutely addicted to hocus pocus at the moment and my two girls always ask for because they can't really say hocus pocus they say we want witches so i'm like yeah that's fine by me it's disney who doesn't love a disney movie so we've got hocus pocus we're watching they don't really like nightmare before christmas yet which is a shame so i'll just keep it on anyway we'll just keep and then there's my favourite, which is Haunted Mansion. I love Haunted Mansion. So, and as you can probably see, my stitch is very Haunted Mansion inspired. He's gorgeous, isn't he? He's my favourite. I absolutely love him. So I thought I'd change my background to this video anyway. I thought I'd do a bit of a display for you all. I tried. <laughs> anyway, if let me know what you're working on in the comments below. Thank you all my subscribers and new subscribers all subscribers everybody i absolutely appreciate it and i absolutely love doing these videos i just i like making time and i think because i'm getting so much stitching done i say that yeah i've already got three whips at the moment <laughs> anyway because i say i'm getting so much stitching done i think i'm going to try and make my videos weekly whether or not it works i'm going to try it for a few weeks and see if i can get it done if not it'll go back to fortnightly obviously with family and everything else it, it does get a bit hectic but we'll we'll see we'll, we'll go with the floor so anyway i hope you're all keeping safe and i will link my instagram below and yeah keep in touch and i will see you hopefully fingers crossed next week bye right i couldn't get a photo in so i've gone up and I've gone out the front and I've brought my sign in. I am so proud of this sign, you have no idea. I use my Cricut machine. It just says boo. Little pumpkin man at the bottom. 
Now this was an old piece of wood and it was just like a uh, skirting board and I can't remember where I got it from. I think it was just in the garage when we moved in and I spray painted it like a uh, primer underneath. Spray painted it black, printed out the words boo, the word boo with my little pumpkin man and I know it should be black but because I'd painted it black already, I didn't think it through properly. So because I painted it black, I had to make something to stand out. So because I, I did that white, printed it out, stuck it all together. Then I spray painted, no I didn't spray paint it, I painted on varnish to seal the letters in. Which, it has worked. It has worked. But the only thing I did notice, I'd left the black paint to dry. For about two days or yeah i think i left it for about two days before i stuck the letters on and then i left it like another day before i varnished it but i have noticed i don't know if you can see maybe better on there that the varnish has pulled the paint over the top but i think it looks all right and i don't think anybody's going to really notice it especially with the dark nights drawing in so i'm hoping oh slug so i'm hoping that uh it's you know it's going to be all right, but now I'm on the quest to do a winter one. So we'll let you know and I'm going to go get this slug because I don't want it running away because I'm scared of him. Right, see you later. Bye.